Meet the new chat GPT 4.0. Real-time chat and performance insights. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, and today we're diving into the latest breakthrough from OpenAI chat GPT 4.0. We'll be exploring what makes GPT 4.0 revolutionary, showcasing real-time chat demos, and comparing its performance against previous models. Let's dive into the latest blog post about ChatGPT 4.0 and explore its groundbreaking features. OpenAI has just unveiled their newest model, GPT 4.0, which boasts the ability to reason across audio, vision, and text in real time. And the best part? It will be completely free. Next, we move on to exploring the capabilities of GPT 4.0. For instance, when given the instruction input a friendly looking robot wearing a baseball cap standing in an upright pose facing the camera. It has a smile on its face, the model generates a corresponding output. You can observe how different inputs yield various outputs, showcasing the model's versatility. Another example is the 3D object synthesis capability. When provided with the input a realistic looking 3D rendering of the OpenAI logo with OpenAI shown below, GPT-40 produces an accurate 3D representation of the logo. If you want to see how impressive GPT-40 is, let's delve into the model evaluation. In their blog, OpenAI released a benchmark comparing GPT-40 to several other models. The comparisons include GPT-4 Turbo, the initial release of GPT-4, Claude 3, Gemini Pro 1.5, Gemini Ultra, and Llama 400B. As you can see, GPT-40 sets a new high score of 88.7% on the zero-shot chain of thought, COT, MMLU benchmark, demonstrating its superior performance. Now, let's proceed to showcase some real-time demos published by OpenAI. Capabilities. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert here. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? Okay, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, slow down. <laughs> Go a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in. For a count of four. Okay, uh, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. And then, and then out. for four, and then exhale slowly. Okay, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. <sighs> That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. <laughs> the desktop app, like Mira was talking about before. Okay, and to give a bit of background on what's going on, so here we have um, a computer, and on the screen we have some code, and then the ChatGPT voice app is on the right. So ChatGPT will be able to hear me, but it can't see anything on the screen. So I'm going to highlight the code, command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT, and then I'm going to talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with a coding problem today. Of course. I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? Okay, I'm going to share with you some code. One second. Sure thing. Take your time. Okay, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one-sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Awesome. Thanks so much. And in the code, there's this function foo. Could you describe to me what the plot would look like if I had versus didn't have this function? Sure. The function foo x y takes in a data frame x containing temperature data and a window size y for calculating the rolling mean. It smooths the average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature columns by applying a rolling mean over the specified window. With the foo function, 
The plot would show smoother temperature lines because the rolling mean reduces the noise or fluctuations in the data. Awesome. This makes Thanks so much. So yeah, I definitely will want to apply this function. And so I'm going to uh, generate the plot and then show it to you. Give me one second. Absolutely. Take your time. I'm excited to see the plot when you're ready. Yeah. So, so far, ChatGPT has only been able to see the code. And now I'm going to run it, and then I'll use the vision capabilities of the ChatGPT desktop app so it can actually see everything going on on the screen as well. OK, ChatGPT. I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one-sentence overview of what you see. The plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. Fantastic. I have another question for you. Um, which months do you see the hottest temperatures, and roughly what temperatures do those correspond to? The hottest temperatures occur around July and August. The maximum temperature during these months is roughly between 25 degrees One and... challenge. Go ahead and show me that selfie, and I'll put my emotional detective hat on. Okay, so here's me. So what kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? <laughs> hmm, it seems like I'm looking at a picture of a wooden surface. Oh, you know what? Um, that was what? the thing I sent you before. Don't worry, I'm not actually a table. Um, okay, so, so take, a, take another look. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful, with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement. Whatever's going on, it seems like you're in a great mood. <laughs> Care to share the source of those good vibes? Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs>